Ah, yes. Excellent nothing. Now all of the ropes are secure. It is a pity your friend Mailman is not here to see your major accomplishment. Where did he go? Mailman will never have a smooth takeoff without a smooth runway. And we'll never have a smooth runway with those rivets sticking up. We need you to pound them down. Uh, I'm still a little dizzy and nauseous from the mole experience. Well, this ought to fix you right up then. All you need to do is use your head, or use your head, or use your head. Why do you keep repeating that? It's called a hint, Einstein. You need to use your head bashability. Press the special button near a rivet, and you'll see what I mean. Here, I cannot tell you how important it is that we test out the aiming system on this slingshot. That important, huh? I said I cannot tell you how important it is. I wish you giant freaks would listen. Anyway, before we launch the plane, we need to make sure our aiming system works, and to do that, you need to shoot Mort from this slingshot. Me? There is no one else I trust to be flung through the air at such high and dangerous speeds. You have shot Mort from a slingshot before, no? Whee! What? I sure hope someone is filming this. When will I ever get to see Mort as a cannonball again? Satisfying indeed. I could watch that over and over and over and playtime is over, pal. We gotta get these vines in locked position. We are ready to launch the plane. Well, I suppose there are only so many times we can shoot Mort out of a tree before it loses its meaning. But how will you get these vines stretched all the way back? I can help you out with that, provided you have some peppers. We do! I'll have my most steady throwing subject toss them. But I warn you, he's not so steady.
work troops. With that vine in position, we're prepared for launch. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I suppose you would like to know what happened next on my adventure. How greedy you are. I know you are loving it. Well, so far, my plan was working perfectly. Mr. Alex and the other freaks were on board, while Maurice and I and some friends were enjoying the kingly first-class accommodations in the rear of the aircraft. But then, the unexpected happened. I am sure that Mort had something to do with it. Imagine our surprise. Well, their surprise, anyway. I thought it was one of the thrills of my lifetime. But alas, the fun could not last. And soon, we were touching down ever so gently. It was time for one more great adventure! Yeah! Whoa! What do you suppose that is, Melman? Hmm, I'm gonna guess something terrible, Alex. Oh, come on. They could be friendly for all we know. Or not. those pincher guys for me to deal with today. Do you want in on this, Melman? Y you're kidding, right? I'm not touching them. Maybe you won't have to. Glide over to that platform where you can fling durians at them. I bet scorpions don't like to get pelted with fruit. Who does? Melman, you could fling durians as a profession, you know? I doubt they pay fruit flingers enough to make it worth it. Ow! What is it? Uh, it's my rotator cuff. I wonder if fruit flingers get health benefits. You know, I I'm gonna stay here and rest a while. I'll catch up to you soon. All right, you rest that cuff. I'll see ya.